Hi, it's me, Claire. Um, today we'll be reading Teeny Tiny Ernest by Laura T. Barnes, illustrated by Carol A. Camburn. Oh, Ernest is a miniature donkey, a teeny tiny little donkey, much, much smaller than other donkeys. Ernest doesn't like being so small. He kept waiting for the day that he would grow and be big and tall, but he never did. Everywhere he looked, it seemed that everyone was taller than he was. The other donkeys were bigger. The cows were bigger, and the horse was much, much bigger. Even the newborn horse was bigger than Ernest. The frisky colt had very long legs that made him taller than the little donkey. Ernest couldn't believe that even a baby horse was bigger than he was. Ernest spent his days in the pasture looking at the other animals. Why can't I be big like they are, wondered Ernest. Ernest tried to do whatever he could to make himself look taller. He climbed to the top of a dirt pile and pretended to eat grass. He was sure he looked much taller when he stood up on the top of the hill. When the cows walked by, he raised his head as high as he could and he smiled. Hee-haw, hee-haw, said Ernest, trying to get their attention. What on earth is he doing, said the cows, giggling. They didn't know why Ernest was standing on the hill. They just smiled and kept on walking. Ernest climbed down from the hill. His plan did not work. The cows didn't even notice that I looked taller, thought Ernest. Ernest slowly walked back to the stable. Why can't I be big like them, he wondered. As Ernest got closer to the stable, he saw Travis, the horse, eating grass. Ernest got an idea. I don't know how I can look bigger, he said. Or I know how I can look bigger. He quickly climbed up the ramp into the stable. When he got on top of the ramp, he turned around and acted like he was looking out over the pasture. He stretched his ears and neck up as high as he could. He was trying to look as tall as possible. When Travis saw Ernest, he walked over. Hi, Ernest, said Travis fondly. What are you looking at? Ernest was so busy stretching that he didn't even hear him. He stretched and stretched. It, it was no use. Travis still towered over Ernest. Is something the matter? asked Travis. No, nothing, muttered Ernest. He stopped stretching and put his head down. Sadly, he walked slowly back down to the ramp. Something is the matter, said Travis. He could see that Ernest was sad. What is it, Ernest? I'm tired of being so tiny, explained Ernest. I'm the tiniest animal in the pasture. Hmm, thought Travis. He then looked out at the other pa at the pasture. He saw the other donkeys, cows, and horses. Well, yes, I guess you are smaller, he remarked. I never noticed before. You never noticed before, asked a shocked Ernest. How could you not notice? I just didn't, explained Travis. How could you not notice how tiny I am, Ernest asked again. The cows who had been making their way up the stable heard part of the conversation. What is all of this talk about being tiny? asked the cow. I'm tired of being the tiniest animal in the pasture, repeated Ernest. Tiny? questioned the cow. Why, yes, I guess you are little. I never thought about that before. You didn't notice either? How could you not notice? asked Ernest. Well, added Travis, you're our friend. You're nice and you're fun and you're funny. We like to spend our days with you in the pasture and eat in the stable with you at night. But, but you're all so much bigger than I am, stuttered Ernest. Who cares if we're bigger? It makes no difference, no difference at all, said Travis. Size doesn't matter. It, it's who you are that matters. Who I am is short, shouted Ernest. No, no, said the cows. You might be smaller than we are, but that's not who you really are. That's only what you look like on the outside. Who you are comes from the inside, explained Travis. It's how nice you are. It's it's what a good friend you are. It's how you treat others. And most important of all, it's what's in your heart. Oh, said Ernest, I had never thought of it that way. Plus, think of all the things that you can do that we can't, declared Travis. What can I do that you can't, asked Ernest. Well, said Travis, you can stand behind those bushes over there when it's cold and windy because of your size. You can stay warm and protected from the wind, and I can't do that. I'm too big. Yes, that's true, agreed Ernest. I can do that. Remember when we played the pasture and tried to play hide from each other, asked the cow. Yes, I enjoy that, laughed Ernest. That's fun. It's fun for you, said the cow, because you can hide behind the barrel. We can't do that. We're way too big. You always find us right away. Ernest smiled and nodded. I guess you're right. I never thought about that before. So you see, said Travis, you can do many things that we can't. I think you're lucky. Lucky, asked Ernest. He straightened up and suddenly felt very proud. Yes. Yes, maybe I am. Yeah, for me. You're a special friend with a big, big heart, reminded Travis. You don't have to be tall to have a big heart. 
Ernest smiled. He realized that he was very special both inside and out. He had a big, big heart and he could do many things that the others couldn't. Hee-haw, hee-haw, said Ernest, and he proudly trotted out into the pasture with all of his friends. So that's a really great story because it has a couple of great messages. Um, it talks about how your strengths are different than other people's strengths. So what makes you special is different from what makes someone else special. And it also talks about that it's what's on the inside that matters. So his friend said, Tiny, well, I guess you are, but I never noticed because all we really noticed was that you were a nice friend and that you had a big heart. So um, I guess make sure you... you Think about what makes you special inside and out because both of them is what made Ernest. His differences made him special in a good way and what was on the inside. I hope you enjoyed.